Okay, so the Canadian Grand Prix is on this weekend, so that means it's time for another race preview. Now, this weekend marks round 7 of the 2013 Formula 1 season in Canada. Uh, now, this track is a low downforce track. It tests mechanical grip and rear tyre wear. So that means Mercedes will be the team to beat this weekend. Also, Lewis Hamilton is a specialist around Canada, having three wins during his very short career. Uh, he has the most wins of any driver in the current era of Formula 1. Now, the race will be decided on who can look after their rear tyres the best, so it should be around a two to three stop race, depending on who looks after their tyres better. Uh, as you saw last year, there were some teams who decided to go on two stops, but that was very risky, as you saw with Fernando Alonso last year. He lost so many positions just in the dying laps of the race. Uh, Sebastian Vettel, I think, uh, made a late change to go to three stops, and you saw how much ground he was able to claw back based on the two stoppers at the end of the race there. So the Pirelli tyres are much worse this year, so I think we may even see three stops being the norm. Uh, maybe even some teams been doing four stops, but that would just be crazy. This should be the last weekend with these current compound tyres because Pirelli have, a, have been in talks with Formula 1 saying that they're going to change their tyre compound from Canada afterwards. So this race should be somewhat similar to M Monaco, but we should see much more overtaking this weekend, hopefully. Now the teams to watch this weekend are Mercedes, as I said before. Ferrari will be quick and Lotus should be very quick as well, seeing as they look after their tyres the best and have very good race pace and consistency. McLaren may be a dark horse this weekend, seeing as the Canada circuit suits their car, um, you know, with the low downforce and the high mechanical grip. So McLaren, you know, they may be up there. They should easily be in the top 10. They may even sneak a top 5 with one of their drivers. So my top 10 prediction this weekend, I have Lewis Hamilton to take out the win from Fernando Alonso and Kimi Raikkonen rounding out the podium. In 4th I have Nico Rosberg, Sebastian Vettel with Felipe Massa in 6th. In 7th I have Adrian Sutil and in 8th I have Nico Hülkenberg with Romain Grosjean and Paul De Resto rounding out the top 10. For pole position I have Lewis Hamilton to finally break Nico Rosberg's uh, dominant run of pole positions as I think that... This is really a sweet spot sort of track for, uh, for Lewis Hamilton, so sh he should hopefully um, get some dignity back in that team. Um, you know, if Nico Rosberg beats him or outperforms him again this weekend, then Lewis will really be down in the dumps and he may even cl climb back into that dark space that you saw him in in 2011. And, you know, Nico Rosberg will get a massive confidence boost from that if he can beat Lewis at his strongest track. But who knows? It should be a very strategical race with the tyres looking after them, knowing when to push at the right time. With um, the long DRS zone and the long back straight, I'm not too sure if it's a double DRS zone this year. You guys will have to let me know on that. But um, let me know what your predictions are for this weekend. Maybe you can compare, come back to the video and, you know, have a laugh at who was right and who was wrong or whatever. But until the next race preview, guys, hope you have a good day. I hope you enjoy the race, and I'll see you next time.